All right, this tutorial is for anybody that wants to set up Joomla on DigitalOcean. Uh, I'm going to start off right from the beginning, create a droplet, go through uh, DNS, and then we're going to go into uh, the actual setup of the uh, Apache web server. Um, let's get started here by creating a droplet. And I'm going to do, oh, I already know the host name I'm going to use. I have a URL that I'm not using right now, so I'll use that one. I'm going to do it New York to America. You would do 64-bit uh, versus 32. You could use either one of them. Uh, if you have less RAM on your machine, you want to use 32. More RAM, you could use 64 because of overhead. And uh, let's just create that droplet. Now that droplet is uh, started and starting to create, there we go. We're going. Let's go over here to domains. Whoever your registrar is, whether it's one and one um, GoDaddy, this here happens to be a GoDaddy. Um, we're going to launch the domains, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the name server. You have to change the name server. I'm going to use wet soup right down here at the bottom. And in here is where I could change my name servers. And you manage your name servers. This one's already been changed to ns1digitalocean.com. You would change it from standard to custom and add ns1digitalocean.com or ns2.digitalocean. Add your name servers, save this, and your name servers will propagate. This might take 24 to 48 hours depending on your registrar and uh, how fast your information is going to get across through and propagate through the web. But those things have to take place first. Let's go over to DigitalOcean, back to DigitalOcean, and we see that the uh, droplet's been created. Um, so what we have to do is we have to set up DNS, and we're going to add the domain, and the domain name is wetsoup.com. IP address that would come over in my email. That's going to be right here. And we'll drop that in here. And I'm going to associate that to the droplet to wetsoup.com. I create the domain. Now, domain was created successfully. I'm going to add a record to this. I'm going to add the C name record to this. And this is so that if anybody types in www. The domain, and you put the at symbol there. And that's basically telling it anything on A is going to that IP address. I'm also going to add another C name, a catch all. Uh, anything they type in front of it, of in, in front of wet soup, the domain name would actually come to that IP address. Okay, those two are created. Now, uh, one of the two of the tools you need is Putty and WinSCP that I use. Now that these two are created, um, we're going to start up Putty and log in. I already have this in here. What soup we're in. You're going to get this warning, potential security breach, blah, blah, blah. Yes, accept that. You're going to log in as root, and your password is that fancy password that they uh, sent you. Control C. Ah, where's my Putty gone to? Putty, Putty, Putty. Right click your mouse, that'll just put it in there. <clears throat> and now we're logged in. And what the first thing you're going to want to do is change your password because no one in their right mind is going to remember that password. I'll put in my secret password of 123456. Password has changed successfully. I'm going to do two things right now because I don't like running everything at root. I am going to change it to my name, sudo add user John. And now I will be uh, added as a user on the system. You don't have to fill any of this out. Last one is going to ask you yes. Okay, we added the user. I'm also going to put my um, username, add it to the sudoers group, uh, sudo add user John to sudo. That's done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to restart putty verify that everything was working with uh, John there we are we're back in so now that we're back in we have to start get we have to start getting our um, packages so what we'll all do is sudo app get update that'll update all the packages that we could use or that we need to use and then we're going to put in the packages. If you don't do the update, you're not going to get any packages. Now, 
Actually, I'm going to get our Apache PHP 5 MySQL, Library Apache 2 Mod 5, Mod PHP 5, MySQL Server, PHP Admin, PHP 5 Curl, and Unzip because I use Unzip a lot. It's tar or Unzip. I use Unzip. Okay. Those are the packages we are going to install. Yes, we're going to install all those packages. In through this, it's going to ask me for my password, my root password for um, MySQL. It's also going to ask me for PHP Admin. Okay, there's MySQL root user, um, secret password 123456, okay. Let's type that again, make sure that we got it right. Tab over, okay. Spacebar, because we want Apache 2. Tab, okay. Da, 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 da. Nah, not, too, not too bad. We're running about five and a half minutes right now, almost six minutes to get to this, to this point. And it slows down. Oh, there it goes. It still has to ask me about PHP admin, which it didn't ask me. There it is. Click yes. Enter. Password 123456. Tab. Okay. 123456. Tab. Okay. Password confirmation. <clears throat> no, I'm not singing. It just happens to happen that way. All right, well, we're going to write a file now to test all this out. Apache, the default folder is var www. So what I'm going to do is sudo nano. I'm going to make a file, um, PHP info, and in that info file, I'm going to write question mark PHP, PHP info, and this is basically going to spring back to the screen the, inf the PHP info. We'll use this to make sure the system is working. Um, control X, capital Y, yes, write that. Alright, now that all that's done, um, our domain should be working. Let's test it out. First thing that's going to pop is the Apache. There it is. There's Apache. That's telling us that the Apache web server is working. Fine. And now that file we just made, info.php, that'll bring up all the PHP information that we just uh, installed. And that's working correctly. So now let's go into PHP my admin and let's see if it'll let us in here. Okay. <clears throat> Boom, we're in PHP admin. So you are in PHP MySQL. Now let's get out of here. Now I don't like to leave that um, PHP info file out there, and you shouldn't either. So I'm going to remove it. sudo rm var www.info.php. That removes that file. <clears throat> now, I'll break this up into a couple pieces. We're running eight minutes. I don't like to make videos that much longer. We're going to pick it up right here where we left off, um, and then we will get into the mod rewrites and the things that we have to do. We'll set up directories for the, um, delivering the uh, public HTML files and we'll also get into uh, users of the data and install Joomla on the next episode. So stay tuned for part two and thanks for part one.